getting ready to go live and we're live now hey what's going on uh applause boot camp youtube uh old-fashioned ice cream facebook family and friends we're out here um i'm not going live at eight o'clock tonight this is my live here i'm checking on the property i have over here in the ice cream fall in rocky mount but this is the young man who actually purchased the property he purchased the friday oh yes sir friday. yeah purchased it all right and he has the property right beside the ice cream parlor uh now uh your name is uh i'll let you introduce yourself my name is slam my husband's homes quick uh -huh. my house is we fix them up and we sell homes quick that's okay. what we do we get them right there you go now what made you come out to rocky mount um it's a good spot uh -huh. you know a lot of houses need some repairs and you know uh -huh. it's a low-income neighborhood so why not help put money back inside the there you go so that's pretty much where i'm at okay same thing we're here uh -huh. all right now uh, do you mind showing us what you're gonna do here no, you, this 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 is not your first yo uh, rodeo is it no it's not it's not okay i've been doing it for six years now. So all right six years okay all the trash we got cleaned out already okay so okay there's a lot of trash all over here uh-huh um, as you can tell, we still got trash all in there. Uh -huh. We're going to clean all that out. Get all this stuff cleaned out. Uh -huh. and eventually, we're going to have our contractors come in, check out the foundation, uh -huh. and check out the paint and all that stuff. Uh -huh. But today, right now, we're just cleaning up the inside. We're going to get all this trash out so mm -hmm. we can be able to even move around mm -hmm. the way we probably want it. Okay. And this, uh, let me ask you this. this looking at the house and this, uh, predicament right now does this scare you no <laughs> i've done worse than this You've done worse than this i've seen houses way worse i've worked on houses way worse than this mm -hmm. um i've gutted houses took took down walls did mm -hmm. foundation work mm -hmm. and uh put it back together okay all right so, now what are you gonna end up with a, a three bedroom or two uh, still trying to figure that part out okay so we're getting there okay we know this house right here this mm -hmm. is the original part of the house that you're standing in uh-huh and then over here, you can tell that like, this was an add-on. So originally, yeah. this was the old house. Uh -huh. This was the outside of the house. Uh -huh. And they added this part on and covered the whole top. Uh -huh. Put a bathroom right here. Uh -huh. And it goes over to there, and that's the back door. Okay. So we're going to get all this cleaned out and get it fixed up. Okay. Mm -hmm. now, what, now, what got you into entrepreneurship? Oh, I got tired of getting fired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Sound like me. Yeah. I got tired of getting fired. Uh -huh. Man, um, my last job that I had, my last legit job, was uh, a tow truck. I used to drive tow trucks. Uh -huh. And I actually started a towing company two years ago. So. Oh, you got a tow truck company? Yes, sir. Oh, there you go. So um, I've been doing real estate for six years. Uh -huh. I got laid off six years ago in 2018. Uh -huh. I got fired. And um, I started doing real estate, and then from real estate, I told myself when I get enough income, I will go ahead and jump back into the towing business mm -hmm. and use that as another second source of income while I'm pushing my real estate business. Mm -hmm. So I just bought this window up. We got to clean out the, the, um, the back of the house, mm -hmm. but we bought it up just to make sure nobody is breaking into the property while mm -hmm. I'm trying to get work on it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to board these windows up next mm -hmm. and um, yeah, just try to get this house right. There you go. Yeah. 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 Now, what do you think about this neighborhood? You think it's changing or? Uh, it's definitely changing. It's definitely changing. There's going to be a lot of gentrification around. Yeah, and yeah. You can see it. It's happening fast. Too. It's happening real fast. Um, so it's a good spot to invest in. Um, I just look at it like this. Bad neighborhoods is not bad neighborhoods. It's just um, mistreated. So mm -hmm. you got to treat it right. That's all it is. There you go. There so, you go. Yeah, in a great words, and I do look kind of rough right now. No, you don't. You it's look crazy. like an entrepreneur because this is what I like. Uh, a lot of people think that uh, us as entrepreneurs, we were riding around in the yeah. shiny shoots, suits and stuff, oh, the no. beamers. But no, we're not. We're not. This is what entrepreneurship. Ninety-five percent of the time, I'm in a truck. I'm in a pickup truck. I'm, I'm actually grinding. The five percent, I'm probably relaxing. Uh -huh. I do have a nice beamer, but uh -huh. I barely get to drive. <laughs> I'm mainly working, and uh -huh. you know doing this stuff and my lady say when i look like this i look like money there you go there you go there you go good stuff yeah and then look we got this house we're gonna get this house right and then we got a beautiful business coming on right here ice cream shop that's right the ice cream shop be on add on to yes to the community, so. yeah now this is your lot too it's my lot as well okay wow you got room for another house yes sir 
Oh wow. Uh, we got some plans coming along. We got to speak with Zonin first uh -huh. and um see what the city of Rocky Mount will actually allow. Uh -huh. And then we go from there. So plan that out. That's a process, but we'll get it done. It'll it go, it'll go, it'll go. Yeah, yeah. It, I, I thought I'd been done last year, uh, uh last year, and I'm just finishing it up. And I got two houses on the back side on the street neck right beside us. Yeah. And um it's gonna be next year before I get those because this is taking me more money and more time than I thought. And yeah. so I gotta get my money back. And first. That's another thing too. Huh. A lot of times you will plan and have a budget for these houses, but sometimes it don't always work out the way you expect. <laughs> never, never. So uh just have some reserves. That's yes, yeah. Say. Have some reserves. Yeah. I originally planned we was gonna tear the house down and mm -hmm. try to um rebuild something new, uh -huh. but we're gonna see if we can save it if uh -huh. we can. Uh -huh. We'll say something beautiful that been here for a long time and, mm -hmm. you know, keep it going. Mm -hmm. And then go from there. Mm -hmm. And then you might consider building right here. Yeah. Well. Okay. Uh, how did you get into construction? Um, Honestly, mm -hmm. I learned the hard way. I yeah. learned by making a lot of mistakes. I learned by, you know, jumping into the real estate field. Mm -hmm. Um, I didn't know much. I just hired contractors and I was just learning from their experience. Mm -hmm. And they was teaching me stuff, so. And as I go on, you know, I was taking notes. So okay. from there. That, I made a lot of mistakes. Same here. A same lot, here. A lot of mistakes. Same yeah. here. Same way I learned. I got burned once or twice. Yeah, I got burned a lot of times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's it. Forget it. I'm gonna learn it myself. So yeah. yeah. That that was my issue. And um eventually I built my own team and mm -hmm. started getting my own license, like electricians. Mm -hmm. I, I pulled my own, got my own plumbers, mm -hmm. I got my own um my own people that do sheet rocks, mm -hmm. you know, I got my own pretty much. I built my own team. Uh huh. Yeah. So that's pretty much where I'm at. Okay. You know, there you go. Good stuff. stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. So yeah, I learned a lot. I learned a lot about the codes and mm -hmm. I met a lot of inspectors. So I know <laughs> a lot of them and uh -huh. I know what they looking for. So uh -huh. Over the time, you're going to get that. It's, you're never perfect. So there you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah. So man, glad, glad, glad to have you here, man, as a neighbor. Yeah. Really, really happened. I saw you Friday. Uh, Morning. I thought maybe you was code enforcement, but when you told me you bought it, I said, "Oh my God, this is good. This is good." Because we got Dollar General right across the street uh -huh. here. Oh, it's yeah, it's, it's coming. It's, it's coming. coming All right. Uh huh. Got my music yeah, yeah. There you go. Over here, uh huh. So, you know, this coming Yeah, yeah, it's coming. So. I see the change. You got a lot of houses up the street and it's getting uh, worked on. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It's coming along. I just, I just, I, I just hate, um, when I, when I come here, I look at the neighborhood and I said, man, I wish the, the people here could profit from it yeah. so bad. But, but they don't, I, I wonder if they even know that they're getting gentrified it, you know, at the very moment they're sitting yeah, here. A lot of people just don't have the education mm -hmm. for it. So, um, I'm actually planning soon. I'm going to come out with a YouTube. Uh -huh. Um, I do put a lot of information about real estate on my um, Instagram channel. Oh, uh, what's that? So they can they can go to the. Uh, so catch. yeah, you can follow me and find me on Instagram uh -huh. at Sell Homes Quick underscore LLC. That's mm -hmm. S E L L H O M E S Q U I C K uh -huh. underscore LLC. Okay, all right. And if you get a YouTube account. Let us know. And you'll see us out here. I'm always filming and stuff yes, doing sir. YouTube. So you'll catch us out here. And get a YouTube channel with uh with with send subscribers over to you. Yes, sir. And right. look, this is what the millionaires look like. There you go. There you. <laughs> we got one question for you. Uh, Stoker Reviews want to know how many homes do you have currently? I currently have sixteen rentals, a total of twenty three properties. Uh -huh. I don't count the other properties because they're not rented out and they're not. No one is in them. So I have sixteen rentals, mm -hmm. but twenty three properties a total. Okay. Uh, slick. All right. Slick says. What kind of real estate did you start with? You start with residential, commercial, residential, single family. Okay, so residential, single family. Good stuff. Good so, stuff. Yeah. Good stuff. All right, good stuff, man. It, it, good just, <laughs> yeah, that that that's it for now. I gotta get out of here. I got I gotta catch a uh, a store at eight o'clock. I just realized I need to pay a bill. I ain't gonna have no internet service tomorrow morning. So I got I, like that. Look, we be so busy that you forget to take care of certain things. Yeah, yeah. I'm constantly on the field running around. So. Always. This is my second trip up here today. I had to come early this morning. I had to go back and um I have a class. Uh like I'll tell you, I have a school. Yeah. And I have a, a class that I'm actually uh teaching tomorrow. So I go get the classroom set up. Yeah. Then I had to uh one of those cars that we were just talking about, we don't get to drive. 
I had to take that in for service, and that messed me up. Uh -huh. Then came this shot back over here. We got one other question. Um, they want to know, uh, are where they ask, are, are they, uh, any of your houses paid off? Um, yes. Yeah. So I have three paid off properties. The other ones have mortgages on it. Mm -hmm. I actually leverage those mortgages uh -huh. um, to buy more properties. Uh -huh. And I put all the properties. It's not in my personal name. They're all in my business name. All in LLC. So, Good stuff. Yeah, I use that. And eventually, um, I want to let the tenants pay down my mortgages mm -hmm. so I can build enough equity and I can um, get what you call a HELOC loan. Uh huh. That way, I don't have to cash out, refi, and lose my interest rate. Uh -huh. And with that HELOC, I can use that money to go buy more properties. Okay. And yeah. The tenants will pay my debt. Yeah. See, that that's the thing that we all Slick and I have the same conversation. <laughs> Slick got a lot of property up in uh in uh, yeah. uh Roxboro, Person County. Uh, I I usually use cash, cash flow from my business, uh -huh. but it takes me so long. Yeah. And uh and this time, this one right here, it it. it it uh I had a nice stash of cash before I came out on this property. Yeah. But now I don't got I don't got low on my cash and I gotta get this one back See, up. That's that's the scariest thing. So uh -huh. like a lot of a lot of times when I'm fixing houses up like this, uh -huh. um I use hard money lenders. Uh-huh. And they'll lend you up to ninety percent of you know what the property is worth. After like, reach re yeah, the ARV. After value. Uh -huh. yeah, so that's the ARV. Mm -hmm. And they'll give you the um rehab money as well. Mm -hmm. But you have to put 10% down. Uh -huh. So um, I reserve my cash for that. And uh -huh. then also there's a mortgage. Uh -huh. So I reserve it for that as well. And also to ma maintain everything else that I got going. All right. On. So they give you, and what he's saying, uh, he'll go to a hard money lender. They give him 10, 90% of the ARV. He used that and put his 10% down. Mm -hmm. And how long they give you? <clears throat> so my lenders give me a year to he, turn the house. He got one year to turn the house. Then after that one year, you have to go get it refinanced after it. For a 30 year mortgage, uh -huh. which I have lenders already waiting for that. So uh, yeah. it's, after a while, you'll build your team. Mm -hmm. You'll have like these these players, you know, these mm -hmm. people in place. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, you'll have a system. You mm -hmm. just got to build a system. Like I said, I've been doing this for six years. Mm -hmm. um, I made a lot of mistakes. Mm -hmm. I almost went out of business a uh -huh. times. Uh, I think we all have. <clears throat> so um, uh, it's been a couple of times I almost lost my shirt. Uh -huh. So um. You live, you learn, you make mistakes, and you learn from it, and just keep growing. From yeah, it. I, I think the more we do it, the more comfortable you get. Yeah. Uh, I this one right here is getting a little too close for comfortable for me, uh -huh. so I got to jump back <laughs> in my my service truck. So I normally, when they get close down, when I get my get start getting close to a bottom, I jump right back into my service vehicle, get my money back up, yeah, back up. then then I, then I come. But right now, my other ice cream parlor is picking up. I think once I open the doors, this this will go, and we'll be yeah. good. So like like I said, I have real I have rental properties, mm. I have properties I'm fixing and flipping, mm. I have one new build that I'm actually building mm. in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And um I also have my tow truck company. So Okay, you got it come. The, the towing business really helped me out because around December, January, it slows down for real estate mm -hmm. because a lot of people's worrying about holidays. Mm -hmm. And you know, sometimes it gets tough, mm -hmm. things slow down a little mm -hmm. and the expenses are high. So that's mm -hmm. where the towing business keep me going. So mm -hmm. um it's always good to have, you know, most streams of income, and this entrepreneurial stuff mm -hmm. is is amazing. I love it. Yeah, it is. Yeah. All right, got a couple more. Then I'm getting out here because I need you need All to right. get back to work too. Yeah. And the Stoker reviews love to see black people doing something positive. Okay, Jeremy Wortham saving right now Thank for you. appliance boot camp. It would change my life forever. Yep, yep, it does. All right, uh, Slick say he can tell you telling the truth. Yep. <laughs> uh, they want to know: Do you have any duplexes? Um, I don't. I have a triplex actually in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. I don't have any duplexes though, but I do have a triplex in Charlotte. And um, I have uh, a property that I'm building now, my new build. Mm -hmm. That's a four door property. Mm -hmm. I'm actually building that and I'm building that in my company name and I'm going to sell it to myself mm -hmm. in my personal name with an FHA mortgage. Uh -huh. So I <laughs> get, that, get, get it down. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I get it for a good price. Uh -huh. and, you know, um, Low rate and stuff like that, so I don't have to put much on a down payment. Plus, I'm selling the house to myself. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Oh so, yeah, right pocket, left pocket. <laughs> there you go. Good yeah. stuff. I'm not gonna hold you anymore. I'm gonna go do my man. I really appreciate. It. Yeah. I'll be seeing you around. Hopefully, you will jump back on the channel again. Yes, sir. All right, and thanks, man. You, uh, uh, you man. too, man. Thanks. Thing. All right, thanks, man. All right. Uh, let me turn this camera around. Uh, I'm going to turn this camera around real quick and then. Okay. All right. All right. I'm back. Okay. So that that's what, that's real. That's real entrepreneurship. That's what you see when you out here doing real work, you actually run into, uh, 
people who do uh who who actually out here doing it. Remember, I told you all when I, uh, when I uh, I never met uh, somebody who's really doing work. And um, uh, let me switch this around. I don't want y'all just looking at my ugly face the whole time. There we go. All right, so here's, we we've got our parking lot done. So we're in the process of getting the deck on. Um, I got a class for the next three days. So uh uh, and I'm not I'm not able to uh come out here. So I wanted to get a quick look uh before I I, I go. Uh, when I come back out here the next time, the deck and stuff will be done. I have pretty much everything done. <clears throat> but uh, I met that I met that young man uh friday he came over he had just he he had just closed on the house friday and they they started working on it we talked and uh i came back today he got his younger brother out here working with him and they out here getting it man and uh like i say uh all the times i've been out here uh working and seeing real real people who who have uh who really does this for a living uh that's that's the truck that you see them on <laughs> that's the, that's the vehicle you see them on uh that's the trucks that you see them on i don't see them riding around in no cars and stuff you can't make no money with no car <laughs> that's what he's telling you all uh he, he he's uh, putting all those trash bags on the back of the trailer and stuff and um and that that's real life entrepreneurship that's the stuff that you want to look for uh that's stuff you want to look for right there that's that's the person who's making money the person who uh, who's standing behind uh, uh, who who every time you see them, they're they're uh, sitting behind the YouTube channel, uh, YouTube uh, uh, camera and stuff. They're not they're not doing it. That's the person who's doing it. Uh, read a little bit more. We got going on. I love it when we're getting it done. Yeah, yeah. They, uh, uh, we're we're doing it. Like I told you all, uh, uh, this place is getting ready to jump. So he's fixing his house right there. Uh, you just heard him say he uh, he got both of those lots. And so he might try to put another house there. Um, I'm gonna put some trees and stuff up. Uh, kind of separate the two. So no, I wouldn't be mindful of his uh, his stuff going on. This is my lot right here uh, that I have. Um, I'll be glad once we're done, so I can then come out here and I can uh, cut mines and get my trees and stuff planted. Uh, there go uh, Dollar General. Uh, we're lucky. Uh, like I say, Dollar General is over there. Um, they're putting their stuff down their ABC. So you can see the tracks. Uh, we talked to them and we was able to work it out where they could, they brought their machines over here and done ours the same time that they were doing theirs. So it, uh, the universe works out like that. So they done ours the same time. Uh, I got to put a deck in, uh, because it's going to be handicapped. Uh, so that's what we're doing now. We're putting a deck on right there and, uh, we're going to have handicap access. This right, this parking lot you see right here, this parking space is going to be for handicap accessibility, and uh, it's going to uh, we're going to make it so we're going to have a little ramp that you roll right on up there uh, with your uh, with your uh, with your wheelchair. Okay, uh, read this one right here. Uh, Stoker reviews. Uh, thanks, Mike, for the video. Thanks for the video, Mike. We need to see black people really working. Building, yeah. Um, we, we we out here. We out here. That's a, that's like that's a young guy. That's a young guy. Uh, that's doing it. And um, like I say, you see the houses. I'm gonna take you around, see my houses in um next week or so. Those people who are coming, uh, coming to the ice cream parlor boot camp. Um, we're gonna have uh vans, so we're gonna bring y'all out here to the job site, so y'all be able to see all of this. Um, he'll probably be out here working too. Uh, he, 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 he's going at it. So you probably see him out here. You better see his stuff. I'm going to take you around to see my houses over there. Um, on the other side of the street, uh, we'll go around to the houses on, um, that I, the first set of houses that I bought, uh, when I first came to Rocky Mount, we'll take a look at that. Uh, you, you'll see what they got going over there on, um, on, uh, on Dollar General. So the people who come into the ice cream parlor boot camp, y'all really getting it. Y'all are really getting it. All right. Uh, TPH uh, worker said, awesome interview. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, I want to give you all real life interviews, not just somebody coming and we sitting behind a camera. I want to see want y'all to see people actually doing it and working. And like I say, we out here. Uh, these are our communities. And uh, and we said he like he told you, it's getting gentrified fast. Uh, I, I, I've seen several places go. Uh, I saw Durham. I was in the middle when Durham got gentrified. 
I was in the middle when Raleigh got uh, South Southeast Raleigh got gentrified. Uh, I was, uh, I guess you would say I was one of the gentrifiers in Selma, North Carolina, but, uh, I saw all of them go and it, it was kind of gradual up to speed. Uh, this one over here in Rocky Mount, it is going, it, uh, it, it is like somebody lit a match in the last five to six months. Um, you got new, you got construction going everywhere and people run running over here. And like I said, my, um, my architect. Uh, when I went to go to see my architect, that was my architect. He was telling me, hey, he's coming to Rocky Mount. So, Troy, hey, what's up, Troy? Tra thanks, Troy. Uh, that's Troy Elbert. Uh, Troy said, uh, good work, Sneed. I appreciate it, man. I really appreciate it. Well, I need to go because uh, I just realized uh, uh, this is the first of the month and I hadn't paid my cable bill. So I got to go uh, hit my cable bill before they close at 8. Uh, I was checking my email and they told me, so tomorrow, next couple of days, they're going to finish this up. Um, I'll be back after that. Uh, I got three days of doing classes. I'll be back after that. And um, I'll be back over here. I got I to gotta make some money. So this thing right here is, is getting down on me. So I got to I gotta make some money. Uh, we, we plan to uh, pretty much be done here um, on Friday. And then from there, uh, we just going to, uh, I'm just going to be waiting around. I got to, uh, I, I'm just going to be waiting around the month of, uh, of May and just, um, a peach mill and putting the stuff on the inside. So, uh, so that's all we're doing. Um, I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, there's no eight o'clock. This is the eight o'clock uh, show right here that you're looking at. This is the eight o'clock show. This is the first time I've done a live show from, um, uh, out here at the new ice cream parlor. So. Uh, for uh, for either Monday or Thursday night. So this is the first time I've done one out here. Um, we kind of wondered what it turned into at about, uh, uh, we looking to close here about six. Um, I was wondering what I actually get going. It's, uh, I didn't know if it'd be a lot, of, a lot of movement, a lot of people getting up, moving around. It's not really that bad out here. Uh, nice traffic still, nice traffic, but uh, uh, we, 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 we looking good, looking good. Excited to get out here. Excited about the neighbors, seeing all the stuff that's going on. Going on, this is going to be a great neighborhood uh, for us to uh, to be locked in at. Once again, thank you all for watching, and can't wait to see the people who come to class tomorrow. Bye bye.